Oh, hello everybody. I'm Walter Benaziak, and this is Top 5. Ah, love is in the air. Happy Valentine's Day. In the spirit of the season, we're counting down the top five best Disney animated movie couples. Check out my Twitter at awesome underscore Walter later tonight and tomorrow because I will be putting up a poll for you guys to vote on about who your favorite Disney animated movie couple is. Romance is one of Disney's trademarks. They've been telling love stories in their films since the beginning, and while times have changed, you can bet that there's almost always a romantic story at the heart of a lot of their animated movies. Before the credits roll, we get a couple that will live happily ever after. But which of those couples worked the best? Let's face it, they haven't all been winners, and in plenty of earlier films, only one of them was a completely drawn character, while the other was just... there. However, there are also more than enough Disney power couples that made the grade. These are the top five best Disney animated movie couples. Number five, Lady and Tramp from Lady and the Tramp. So I felt obligated to put these two on here. A lot of the honorable mentions came close, but these two were just too iconic to leave off the list. Lady is a cocker spaniel who lives with her affectionate owners. However, everything changes when they have a baby. The new parents leave on a short trip and have Aunt Sarah take care of the house. This leads to several misunderstandings and results in Lady out on the run. A neighborhood stray named Tramp saves Lady from an attack by bigger dogs, then shows her the carefree life he leads. The main reason Lady and Tramp are on this list is because of this iconic scene. Never by side, with your love, the one you'll find on the man to hear. The night will we. It's one of the most well-known and imitated movie kisses of all time. It's been parodied for decades now. This movie came out in 1955. 1955? So that moment has absolutely withstood the test of time. These two characters are decently strong for an animated movie of the time period and definitely fill the other's void. Lady is the pampered, protected pet, while Tramp is the wild but good-hearted stray. By the end of the film, Lady's owners adopt Tramp and they have a few puppies together. While I don't think the movie is all that great or an absolute Disney classic, it's undeniable that these two pooches are still recognizable all these years later. Go ahead and get some spaghetti with your valentine. I'll be here when you get back. Number 4. Aladdin and Jasmine in Aladdin. A whole new world is reason enough to put them near the top 5, but there is more. When poor young thief Aladdin finds a lamp in the Cave of Wonders, he releases the all-powerful genie and with him three wishes. Pining for the affection of Princess Jasmine is Aladdin's main concern, but when Jafar, the evil royal vizier to the Sultan, takes the lamp for himself, Aladdin must come up with a way to set things right and save the kingdom of Agrabah. Aladdin and Jasmine have a decently basic setup for their relationship. Street rat attracted to a princess, the princess feels overprotected and ventures out among the common people. They meet and you can see where it's going, but it's done so well and with the added twist of the genie helping out Aladdin, it makes it special. Enough about you, Casanova. Talk about her. Huh? She's smart, fun, the hair, the eyes, anything. Pick a feature. <clears throat> uh, Princess Jasmine, you're very... Wonderful, magnificent, glorious, punctual. 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 Sorry. Uh, uh, beautiful. Nice recovery. Aladdin is a young, unwilling hero with a good sense of right and wrong. But when it comes to Jasmine, he's willing to bend the rules just to be around her. Jasmine herself is a great compliment to Aladdin because she doesn't take any crap. She's willing to call him out when need be. Jasmine also fights back against Jafar and has her own motivations. Seeing her future in Aladdin isn't just a cherry on top of the sundae. The relationship feels earned, and the two together work well for the story. And yeah, a whole new world. A whole new world. Don't you dare close your eyes. Now, Hold your breath, it gets see. better. From number four to number three, Rapunzel and Flynn Rider in Tangled. I guess they're making Tangled into a Disney Channel animated show. Is anyone looking forward to that? Years ago, Princess Rapunzel was born with special regenerative and youth-giving powers through her golden hair. She was kidnapped as a baby by the death-fearing Mother Gothel and raised in an isolated tower so her kidnapper could continue to live well beyond her years. By Rapunzel's 18th birthday, the kingdom's most wanted bandit, Flynn Rider, hides out in the tower and is captured by the long-lost princess. 
the two make a deal where Rapunzel can finally leave the tower as Flynn introduces her to a world she's never known. I know Flynn's real name is Eugene Fitzelbert, but I'm just calling him Flynn. This is definitely the most comedic duo on the list, and that's why they rank so high up. Tangled is really funny. The fluid and quick animation that give life to their movements and expressions, in combination with Mandy Moore and Zachary Levi's compatible and energetic voices, make for a couple that are as unique as they are amusing. Is it ruffians? Folks, have they come for me? Stay calm. It can probably smell fear. The physical comedy with these two present in this film is very enjoyable and the relationship develops at a pace slower than most other Disney animated films. Granted, by the end they're still married and blah blah blah, but it feels more natural. Flynn has a witty presence that when mixed with Rapunzel's more curious nature, creates a chemistry that is just fun to watch. Two spots left. Number two, Carl and Ellie Fredrickson in Up. Pixar is Disney now, it counts. Carl and Ellie Fredrickson always dreamed of moving to the exotic Paradise Falls. After a long married life, Ellie passes away just when Carl had planned their trip. A few years later, he decides to go there by himself by tying thousands of balloons to his house as it floats towards his destination. Carl is a grumpy old man who doesn't talk to many people anymore, so when a boy named Russell is discovered on his porch after the house is already taken off, Carl has to interact with him as they explore the foreign land. Ten minutes. That's all it took. If you've seen Up, I don't even have to explain this to you. You just know. Just mention it to someone. The first 10 minutes of Up. <laughs> it's that powerful. We get to see in full Ellie and Carl's relationship. From them as bright-eyed kids, to them getting married, to trying to have kids, to not being able to, I'm sorry. <sighs> Ellie is the adventurous one. She's really the motivation for the entire movie. We get a great look at her personality as she gets older and we see how she brings the uptight Carl out of his shell. You know, you don't talk very much. I like you. Wow. When Ellie needs Carl, he's always there for her too, knowing just the right thing to do, even when she's at her lowest points. While their story seems tragic, their life together is shown as a happy one. And that's reality. There are highs and lows and we don't always get to do everything we want with our time here. It can serve as a great reminder to do what you can while you can. This relationship is authentic. It tugs at your heartstrings for a reason. There's a lot to emotionally unpack here. All that in only 10 minutes. Over the years, Disney has put together many couples and many movies. Not all the best ones could fit into the top five, so before we get to number one, here are some honorable mentions. And the number one best Disney animated movie couple is Belle and the Beast in Beauty and the Beast. It would have been very difficult to legitimize choosing anything else as number one. An entire castle is cursed after its prince turns away an old woman. The prince himself is transformed into a hideous beast and can only change back after discovering true love. Years later, Belle, a smart and beautiful young woman, is taken prisoner by the beast after saving her father. As time goes on, the hot-tempered beast begins falling for his prisoner, and Belle slowly does the same. Getting in the way of breaking the spell is Gaston and a horde of angry villagers after they realize a dangerous beast lives so close to their village. I hadn't seen Beauty and the Beast in quite a while, and it holds up extremely well. From the music to the animation to the character work and voice acting, Beauty and the Beast fires on all cylinders. The story feels timeless, and it all has to do with Beast and Belle. Belle is very smart and no pushover from the first time we see her. She doesn't fit in where she lives and is a bit of an outcast with her father. She's also not a long lost princess. Belle is just an independent lady who is living life her way. Her bravery when rescuing her father also shows that she has the courage to overcome her own fears. 
Now the Beast is very interesting. He's a guy who's lived half his life as a monstrous figure and has become on the inside what he looks like on the outside. He's hopeless at the point when we first see him and has forgotten how to interact with people outside his castle. Holding Belle prisoner isn't exactly the most romantic way to fall in love, but Belle appeals to his human side and eventually brings it out. When Belle discovers who the Beast really is, she also finds someone she could have never found anywhere else. Tune us on the song Bittersweet and strange Finding you can change Learning you were wrong As for the live action version, we'll see what happens. With the animated film being nominated for Best Picture at the Oscars and all, it has a lot to live up to in terms of the original film's legacy and its enduring fan base. Are you excited or just nervous to see this one? We're only a month away. Disney's own legacy continues in animated form, as I'm sure the studio has many more classic tales, both love stories and not, to tell in the future. I want to hear what you guys think. What is your favorite Disney animated movie couple? What do you want me to cover next in the show? Leave a comment and let me know. Make sure you check out Awesome Comics from yesterday, where we ask, is the Lego Batman movie better than Batman v Superman? Follow me on Twitter, at awesome underscore Walter, to take part in more polls about what I may cover in the future. Come back next week for a new episode of Top 5. Happy Valentine's Day.